tick disorders, right? And um, obviously, I believe that has something to do with the, the nervous system and uh, neuro, the neurologic part of our body. And it's something we don't talk enough about, you know, living with Tourette's syndrome or how it affects people, including teenagers. So I want to bring in our guest, Dr. Francis Murphy. He's a chiropractor, and he's going to tell us a little bit about Tourette's syndrome. Uh, one of my points in, in doing this show is always to try to teach you one or two things you may not have known before and to shed awareness on things that are kind of off the beaten path sometimes, but equally as important as everything else we talk about. Dr. Francis Murphy, welcome to the program. Uh, thank you, Rich. I'm so happy to be here tonight. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you staying up late with us. Now, uh, I got to say, you know, full disclosure to everybody, I am a chiropractic junkie. I discovered this stuff many years ago as a teenager. I got into a car accident. They send you some, uh, I'm going to call it a factory chiropractor, and they would, you know, adjust me and send me packing, give me some ice packs and whatever. But later in life, I found a guy who really took a holistic approach to to chiropractic, and you know, it, it, it's amazing, and it affects so many parts of, of your body, your your breathing, your you name it, you know, just how you go to the bathroom. All of it is right. in one way or another uh, affected by the spine. So, uh, Dr. Murphy, tell us about these tick disorders and and how these challenges are exacerbated for, for young people especially. Well, Rich, the, uh, for the longest time, uh it, Tourette syndrome and tick disorders was uh, considered unclear what exactly was causing it. And a, a lot of research money is spent on the possibility of it being hereditary. And I mean, a lot of money. And the medical community, I love the medical community, that they've saved my life a couple of times, but has kind of claimed Tourette syndrome as their baby. This is in their domain. But I started to, uh, years ago, back in 2006, I started to look at the body in a slightly different way. And I started to realize that the way they characterized Tourette's and tick disorders didn't really follow what I was seeing in patients. Now, chiropractors do not treat Tourette's syndrome or any name diseases. They, they see the body structurally. And a real good chiropractor, you know, pays close attention to the little stuff. As you get older and into this game longer and longer and longer, you get better and better, just like any other thing. Mm -hmm. But in, in 2006, I figured out how, how to fix something called frozen shoulder syndrome using a, just a chiropractic technique that would seem miraculous to people. And I had the opportunity to travel all over the world and teach people this. I, uh, I was kind of a spokesperson for the World Federation of Chiropractors. I was a trustee on the board at my uh, alma mater, and I had gotten a lot of fame for that. And so I'm taking care of these people, and I'm noticing that they also have us other things going on with them. And one day somebody came in that had a shoulder and ticks. And so I started to look at them like I look at everybody else structurally, and I made a correction structurally, and ticks went away. Mother came back the next day, and she was blown away. She was like, what did you do? Wow. And I said, well, you know, I looked at her. I, I look at everybody's x-rays. I take cervical x-rays of everybody. And I carefully looked at her x-rays. I saw some anomaly, uh, anomaly in there. And I thought to myself, this isn't right. And uh, I, when I corrected it, I realized that I had stumbled upon something really great. And that thing was that the vagus nerve, which travels all over the body, it's responsible for something really easy to remember, rest, digest, and heal. And the counterpart to that rest, digest, and heal is the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight, flight, and freeze. When you're in fight, flight, and freeze, that mimics everything about Tourette's syndrome. So first, there's the structural problem that takes place. And it's not just one structural problem. It's one 
that causes you to move your body in a different way, and now it becomes a second one and a third one. They kind of lock up like a puzzle. And to un- when you undo the puzzle, the neurological symptoms go away. So it starts as a structural problem. It affects the parasympathetic nervous system, which accelerates the sympathetic, which is the fight, flight, freeze. Then with that comes all this adrenaline and cortisol into the system. Now the kid has an advanced stage of ADHD where they they have problems with everything, executive function, handwriting, time awareness. They have anxiety. They can't poop properly. They don't sleep. And this OCD all comes with that hypersympathetic nervous system, that hyper adrenaline and cortisol in the body. And when the energy builds up like a lion pacing back and forth in a cage, when that energy in the body builds up and that doom that's not really there gets so bad, they start to tick. The energy builds up in their body and they start to have unusual motor ticks, which are could be facial expression or head jerks or arm jerks or tapping something or kicking something or verbal. And they could yell out. A lot of times it's profane, but it's out of frustration that the words that come out of them are that pure frustration of the energy not knowing where to go. Right. And it's 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 terrible because a lot of people commit suicide over this. They just can't take it anymore. The um, adrenaline and cortisol, the drugs that your body makes when you're in this sympathetic storm, you're on it all the time. It stunts these children's growth. And when they get better, they go into these amazing growth spurts. And these kids are all savants. They end up developing another part of their brain because of the structural situation and and you can see it when they can act normally they are really really good at something it's amazing to see i've only been doing this for a couple of years i I took a couple of years to perfect how i you know the nervous system becomes damaged and weakened you can fix the thing that caused it but now you have to build back up the nervous system. It's very simple to do. It's very logical the way we do it. It's simple exercises, breathing, um, affirmations, um, the right nutrition, getting off of artificial sweeteners, getting off of artificial colorings and flavorings, uh, trying to get heavy metals out of their bodies that you can find in the food, air, and water. And when you that accelerates the healing process when you can get rid of all the junk in their body and fix their structural problem at the same time. Dr. Francis Murphy's our guest. And folks, again, something I just want to clarify is that I've been through a little bit of a metamorphosis myself uh, as a, as a patient uh, undergoing chiropractic care for many years. And I can tell you, there's a, a bunch of things from sleep to breathing to you name it, a, a lot of things. Uh, and I have ADHD and it, it I can't say chiropractic made it better because I I can't prove that, but I feel like it's a lot more manageable when I get adjusted once or twice a week and at sometimes three times a week if it's a, if it's an interesting week. Uh, But uh, something I wanted to clarify, because I remember when uh, people were telling me about the cervical x-rays and I was like, I don't even have a cervix. What are you talking about? (laughs) And of course we're talking about the cervical spine and 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 this is a, a, a interesting part because you know there's that the the atlas and then the vagus nerve and these things affect so many different things that you have to make sure you keep it straight to avoid um, any um, uh, what's the word disease. And doc, in the limited time that we have left, I think we got about three minutes together before um, they play the music and kick us out. I'd like you to give uh, I guess our listeners some some advice, if you will. On, on why they should consider chiropractic. And I'm not a spokesperson or the poster child for chiropractic, but it's just something that's had a big benefit in my life, and I think it can really help a lot of people. Francis Murphy. Well, I, uh, chiropractic is so unique in that chiropractors have to know everything about the body. You know, they, they don't give you pills to 
solve your problems. They they work with what we call homeostasis, which is the body's natural ability ability to heal itself. It's such a it's such a simple way to look at the body. The body has a fluidity, a structure, a skeleton, and that skeleton is attached to a lot of of muscles, tendons, and it allows us to move, and movement is life. That is life. And so to keep the skeleton healthy and means to keep the, the muscles and the tendons healthy, and to do that, you have to eat and sleep and think properly. And chiropractors are preachers of all of that and masters of the skeleton. And when the skeleton is right, it is mixed with the nervous system. You you wouldn't call a plumber a water plumber. It's implied that they understand the way water flows. It's the same thing with chiropractic. We spend a lot of time understanding how the function of the structure of the body interfaces with the nervous system. And that's what we're masters at. And, and a really good chiropractor will dig out your problem. And if they can't solve it, They'll have a reputation and somebody that can solve it in their back pocket. You move the bone, the body heals itself, right? That's the idea. Yes, sir. And it's a shame that there is so much politics involved when it comes to chiropractic in different states and whatnot that I've seen. And this uh, powerful lobby from the American Medical Association versus uh, you guys and in either integrating or not integrating. Uh, but hopefully we get to a place one day where – Everybody's under one roof, you know, so when you walk into your regular doctor, you know, there's a chiropractor there, there's just every type of specialist that you would need, because I think it, it, it solves more problems than people think. Doc, I want you I to let everybody know that. how they could, yeah, you bet, tell everybody how you, um, how they can find you. Real easy, DallasWellness.com. Check them out at DallasWellness.com, Dr. Francis Murphy, sir. I appreciate your time. Uh, I was enlightened by the conversation, and Godspeed to you. Thank you, Rich. Appreciate you.